I grabbed this salt shaker and I went, Gah! and then I cried. And then I jumped on the broken glass because I was a dramatic little kid. Hi, I'm Hannah Stocking and this is my Women's Health Body Scan. I love my strength the most in my body. It makes me feel really empowered when I hit the gym and I can leg press 450 pounds. It's taken some time for me to love my nose, actually. I kind of grew up with a lot of female friends who had really beautiful ski jump or a little butt nose. And when I was a kid, I would actually squish my nose till the point where it really hurt. I mean, I was intrinsically insecure when I was little, but now what I do for a living and what I'm known for has kind of allowed me to have a lot of confidence because I also want to be that figure for the young Hannah or the other young kids that are dealing with insecurity issues. If you're on camera, you'll see different angles of your nose that you haven't seen yourself in the mirror and it kind of throws you off but it's also important to have a good support system around you who's there to comfort you and let you know your nose looks good. <laughs> I love words of affirmation and gift receiving. So I love to be given gifts. <laughs> and then my acts of love, I love giving words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch. I show love in all, all the categories, I think. I do have a significant other and he thought it was so funny that one of my love languages is gift receiving. But after that, he got me a really cool water bottle. So I was really excited about that. I really love eating organic. I'm from a hippie town, so that was pretty ingrained in me. My guilty pleasure is pasta, carbohydrates, salt, butter. It's my favorite. I actually just discovered this restaurant where the ingredients are actually imported from Italy overnight. I kind of believe that the ingredients overseas are probably better than America. So it helps me feel better about eating pasta three times a day. I enjoy working out my legs and my butt the most. I really like squats because the weight is supported on my back or leg press. Some would say I have gerbil arms, so my sense of strength and my arms and my grip is really incomparable to my legs. I even actually have been trying to rock climb to get my grip stronger. I had knee surgery when I was 15 from just growing so fast so quick that actually my kneecap going on my patella tendon was going sideways, so I got a lateral release surgery. And I've kind of been nursing that for my whole life. I'm still battling knee issues. One time I was running from the cops, nothing crazy. I had a couple drinks underage. So I was running away and it was pitch dark and I was running looking behind me cause the cops were closing in and there was a cliff. And then I fall down the cliff and I actually have a pretty crazy scar to this day on my shin right here. And that swelled up like a grapefruit as well. And then this is from when I was having a temper tantrum when I was a little baby. I grabbed this salt shaker and I went, Gah! and then I cried. And then I jumped on the broken glass because I was a dramatic little kid. When I was in college, a guy I liked tweeted, girls with tattoos, greater than sign. So that night I got this tattoo in Sanskrit. I think it means love is the movement. And then I found out that he had two other girlfriends and a baby on the way. So it didn't work out, but at least I got this cool tattoo. And I also have a lot of feet tattoos because I really like how people have arm sleeves. So I kind of wanted a sock. I just really wanted to blast my feet with random tattoos. So during lockdown, I actually got a tattoo gun and I started tattooing myself. So each toe has a letter and it spells that's crazy. I have a skull here. I have you good. <laughs> and then I have, I don't know, so I could kind of clap my feet together and they could talk. I use Dove soap and some L'Oreal face moisturizer. And I really love the Dior lip gloss as well. And topped with some grapeseed oil because my skin is on the drier side. And also I really love tinted moisturizer instead of foundation, like some days out of the week, instead of 
wearing foundation every single day. If I'm wearing a lot of heavy makeup for long periods of time, it definitely sucks the life out of my skin. I don't break out too much, but it does dry my skin out a lot. I have my areolas pierced. I have really small boobs, so I heard it kind of rounds out your boobs. So that's why I got them. <laughs> In COVID, I was applying a, a self tanner and it ripped it off. So then I was like, oh, I'm over my, my piercings. And then one day I woke up, I was like, man, I miss them. And I got them done again, but it didn't hurt because I knew what to expect. I know I shouldn't, but I wash it every single day because my hair kind of runs on the oilier side. Jennifer Aniston knows who I am. And she actually sent me her shampoo and conditioner, Lola V. So I've been using that a lot actually, and it's great. She definitely knows what she's doing when it comes to hair. I have something called trichotillomania, which is OCD anxiety induced, where you chronically rip your hair out. So I've been dealing with that for a while, as well as OCD rituals and obsessive thoughts. After doing therapy and living a really healthy, balanced lifestyle, really listening to my body and my needs and my wants and learning not to people please all the time, really helped me. As well as working out, I'm just such an active person and I have been since I was a kid and working out is such a good release and it just makes me feel so good mentally and provides a really good sense of clarity. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Women's Health.